my name is Buffy. Um, what I'm doing today is giving you some tips, tips on how to make a cool drink that I learned from other places, but I'm not going to give you the name just, just because it's my little secret where I got it from. So anyways, tonight uh, I'm making a wonderful, fabulous drink. It's basically, I'm dressed up all like in a party dress. I got my hair done, got my, my, my lips done, my jewelry. I'm all set for the party. Well, you know, I figure, what more can you ask? Gotta look good for the part, right? <laughs> so, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh, the mix of the drink in just a second. But as you can see, there's three glasses. Don't worry, they're not for me. I'm just giving you a, a, a good idea which glass to use that you can uh, get some ideas which one you like to use for your uh, taste of what you feel like for the night. And this kind of gives you hmm, thinking, okay, well, you don't have to have one particular glass to make this particular, you know, this really cool drink. I call it, and you can call it whatever name you want. My name is Buffy, and I call it Buffy's Nightcap. Reason is, when you have kids and you just figure, oh, it's been a long day, and I figure I need something a little bit more, you know, relaxing, enjoyable, and I enjoy drinking. So, let's get right into it. So you now that you've got the idea of which glass you can suggest to use, you don't, uh, you can use this if you want. And what you see on, on these things, these are the three main ingredients that you can use to make this drink. What you have is you got your pink champagne, or you can call it a pink bubbly, and you got your lemon liqueur, or you can call it limoncello, I'm not, and you got your brandy, which is yeah, you know, like the cherry kind of drink that you added. So you have all three of these things to use. And I'm going to show you how to make this really simple and easy. So basically, you have your little shaker and your little strainer. And then you got a little shot glass. Okay? So when you do this thing, what you should do is you start with ice. Okay? And it's only about just enough to chill up this little can, uh, thing. So basically, you got some ice to choose from. Uh, puts in just a few. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the, uh, the simple glass. Basically, I'm just gonna use this one really quick, which you can use some uh, ice in it and everything. It's not not so bad. So this way you can use less ice and everything, and you can use this for any occasion, like holidays, yeah, you know, whatever you feel like. You know, you want to celebrate, even if, when you have nowhere to go. Why not do it at your own home, right? So this is why I call it the nightcap in your own little style of champagne glass. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and use that tonight. And basically, you're gonna start with your champagne, which is pink. You can use white champagne, it's up to you, but I prefer the light color pink, not the red uh, uh, kind of champagne because there is kind of confuses you a little bit. So I covered the, uh, the name just to protection of the uh, company where I get the champagne from just just so I can get myself protected I'm gonna go ahead and show you there's a little bit of ice right there just enough and basically you're gonna feel about halfway up just enough to get the fizz down gotta wait it takes about a minute you hear the sound beautiful sound of the fizz just talking to you saying <sighs> It sounds just like a holiday every day for your, uh, for yourself and for your friends and family, whoever comes over to your house, to make this for everybody else. I will warn you that it only takes about three drinks to make one of these. Or you could cut it down where you can just do about four to five and this size, okay? And the bigger the glass is, the more uh, uh, bottles you're going to go through. So, we got, oh, it looks like I need more. Just a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and give about, just about three-fourths of this full. Or no, about a quarter and a little bit over three-fourths. So basically, yeah, getting there. Takes a bit of a while, but you should do a lot of the champagne. So now that you got your pink champagne done and out of the way, here's about the size of it. Got just enough so you can feel it uh, spill out the floor. So anyways, you get the idea. It's about right there, right where the uh, the sides of it. 
Okay, you're going to use this limoncello or your lemon liqueur, uh, whichever, and you can get all these things at, their, uh, at your local store, whatever you choose from, but you got to find something that looks a lot like this, okay? And I'm not going to show you the name of the product because I don't want to get myself in, uh, you know, uh, in trouble for copyright for, you know, for ads and stuff like that. Um, with this, you want to give us about a full shot glass. Out there. Uh, I don't want to spill it. Okay. It's about almost just right there to the full. So you pull that in and pull, pull. <laughs> and I mean, sort of, you know, pour it in. And then you're going to uh, uh, move on to your next. Basically, is call your grenadine. This wonderful little red stuff. And this, you don't want to use much because it's very sweet tasting. So you want to use it just about less than a half or about just an yeah, about less than a half shot. It's all up to you how much you want to make this sweeter and how much you want to make this less sweet. Because the champagne, pink champagne, is already sweet as it is. And then you got the lemon that's a little bit sweet. So you're asking three different components to add to this drink is a little bit sweet. I would suggest for people who are sweet taste, love sweet drinks, this is the one for you. And if you want, if you're for bitter people, like bitter taste people, like, you know, red wine or whatever you choose, this is something that you can try. If you like it, keep making more. And then you're going to have a whole lot of guests to come to your house. When you start making this kind of drink for them, they're going to be hooked. And they're going to probably want to fall in love with you just that fast. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in just that much. And then you're going to make sure you cap this every product because you don't want to kill it. Um, then you're going to put this lid on. It looks like it's got a hole. Or you, you can also use one of the strainer. I would recommend something like this because you don't want to, you know, um, shake it because you got to remember the champagne. It will, you know, if you open a bottle, it's going to fizz right up. So we don't want to have a party coming out of, the, out of this thing too quickly. So you're going to go ahead, you're going to swirl it. Never shake it because it will, uh, you don't want to have everything pop all over on you. Just enough. And then you kind of, Tap, tap, there you go. Or actually, don't no, wait, wait. So you're gonna take this, you're gonna strain it into your drink so it looks all the pretty little color, just like that. Now, any size, it just sounds like there's about another glass out of this. So, that's what this whole wonderful thing looks like. Just a little bit more brighter pink mm. than the pink champagne. And it's got a little bit of red to add that color just to make sure it's a really spicy drink. Uh, not spicy, but sweeter taste. I'm going to go ahead and take a taste of this so that I can show you guys how well it tastes. Very well. It tastes like a tropical punch drink, actually. And this is the kind of drink that you can actually make for yourself. And you can teach other your friends and fa uh, family. And what you do with this drink is you can make it a name that you want to call it. I call it the nightcap, or you can call it like the, uh, the, well, let's see. You can go down the list of things you want to call it. You can call it a tropical punch, um, you know, cocktail. You can call it anything you want to put in your mind to it, whatever comes to your mind. So either tropical punch, cocktail, or you can call it the nightcap, depending on what time of the day you're having it. So if you're having a daytime, call it tropical punch cocktail. If you're having it at night time before you go to bed and your kids are all asleep and everything, that's the best time to call it the nightcap. So this is a very uh, uh, many names you can call this drink. I've gotten this idea from a special hotel uh, where I was from. It's actually from Reno. And and I asked bartenders, so how do you do you make this drink? Because I fell in love with it and, and they made it a few times. And they put in something like this. Pretty good sized drink. You get a good, you know, Get a good drink out of it and so he uh, was kind enough he went ahead and told me the uh, three parts uh, ingredient that I needed to make this so I figured well okay since he already gave me these three, uh, these three things that I can do this myself at home why can't why can I not do that for you guys and my friends and family I made this with a few other friends and family and uh, I went to Washington 
for a visit and they all enjoyed it and they like, oh my god, it really does taste good. It tastes like a punch or it tastes like, no, nah, not necessarily Kool-Aid, but it just tastes really good. And I call this an adult cocktail or adult juice if you want to call it, whatever you want to call this. So I just thought it's time to start sharing my little secret drinks to you all. And then I'm sure there's going to be a few others that come along the way that I will show you on how to make a wonderful drink that comes from my heart to yours. So anyways, I appreciate you all. Thank you again in my wonderful party dress for this wonderful occasion. Just relax for myself at home and I can feel like I can just party for myself. And you don't need friends or family to have a party for yourself. You've got yourself enjoying this wonderful tropical punch or nightcap at nighttime drink. So you all have a wonderful night and thank you again or a wonderful day wherever you're at and you all have a wonderful beautiful day oh and if you like to go ahead and hit like down below or you subscribe to my video uh, to my youtube channel you can find me on anything under buffy pribble p-r-i-b-b-l-e i'm on instagram i'm on twitter facebook here on youtube you can send me a comment, whatever you think. And it, I love to hear from your feedback. When you make this wonderful drink yourself at home, tell me how you like it. I'm sure you will fall in love just as much as I showed you how much I'm in love for myself just making this for you. And now it's your turn to make it and see how you like it. Just remember the three ingredients. You only need pink champagne, lemon chiller or lemon liqueur, and your, pink, and your granny. And you got it all made. Simple as that. Now, we're not going to talk about price or anything. That's up to, that's up to pay between you and the store. And whatever deals you can get. Because price varies on anywhere you go. So, enjoy. And hopefully you can make this in your own little, uh, in your bar. As yourself as a bartender. Hopefully this will help you. So, y'all have a wonderful night. And thanks again. My name is Buffy. And look forward to hearing from any comments that you've got. Have a great day night and you don't have to you know go anywhere to dress up why not dress up for yourself for just because to make yourself feel great okay i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this when i'm getting off this so and you guys enjoy have a wonderful night again end day thank you and enjoy <laughs>